Located in the heart of West Virginia is MARS, a first team on a mission to change the long-standing educational background and social stigma associated with rural West Virginia. We are faced with difficult geography, posed with hazardous weather, and confronted with long-standing educational discontinuity. In West Virginia, only 16% of high school freshmen will go on to complete any form of post-secondary education. That's less than half the national average. But Mars is here to prove that a movement is transpiring in the Mountain State, one that's taken thousands by storm. With the assistance of dedicated mentors, wonderful partners, and inspired youth, we have transformed the culture around us in only five years. The West Virginia Plan was formulated to address our state's unique barriers and lack of sustainability through community outreach and lasting partnerships. Throughout the 2011 FLL season, we have started, mentored, or sponsored 41 successful FLL teams in 23 West Virginia counties and one Pennsylvania county. You can see the growth from you know, a regional aspect all the way up to multiple teams within uh, individual counties. And I don't think that would have been possible without Mars. Members of our team wrote and illustrated a robotics-oriented storybook titled Marvin the Friendly Robot. In conjunction with the state STEM education mandates, we also created science and math worksheets for youth in first through third grades. Both the storybook and STEM worksheets have been used in local read-alouds in venues such as the Children's Hospital, Library, and many other events. Some of our greatest successes have been demonstrations and classes at Area 4-H camps. After each event, we receive postcards from campers in appreciation. I thought it was an excellent partnership to invite um, the Mars Robotics team into our 4-H camps. We had over 200 4-H campers take part in educational programming through this partnership and they learned so many valuable things. But our STEM initiatives don't stop there. One example of our endeavors is the Jason Project, a summer program designed to challenge participants ro with robotics related coursework. They were even awarded with a college credit. There are many other ways we make ourselves visible in our community, such as a local animal shelter charity event, where our mascot robot walks dogs. We interact with various high-tech corporations and politicians at the Teaming to Win convention. In addition to other charity events, we assist in raising money for the Habitat for Humanity and American Cancer Society. And it showed me just how, how powerful, motivated students can be in their community. 